In this video, we're going to go over the market update for Pierce County, primarily focusing on Tacoma and Puyallup, but overall, we're going to encompass the entire Pierce County in general. My name is George Rodriguez with eXp Realty and allow me a few moments today to be a realtor. This is my second time trying to record this. I forgot to turn this thing on, so yo, had no audio, recorded the whole thing, felt like a dummy. To make the best educated assumption about what's happening in the Pierce County real estate for Tacoma, Puyallup, and just general Pierce County, we have to take a look at the previous statistics of January and February and apply them to the current present time of March 2023. Just a little disclaimer, all of my information is coming from the Northwest Multiple Listing Service, and I'm using residential, condominium, and manufactured homes as the present context for what my numbers are coming from. Let's take a quick look at the statistics when it does come to Pierce County. In Pierce County, in January, we had a total sales of 540 with the day on market at 49 and an average median sell price of 562,000. For February, let's compare. We can obviously see the total sales has went up almost 40%, just giving a rough little estimate. 726 sales with a day on market of 50, with the average median sell price going down to 552,000. So how are we gonna take this information and apply it to current present time for Pierce County? Well, there's a quick way. We can take a look at the last seven days to see how the market is moving in terms of what is happening in current present time. Two listings, we have a total of 217 in the last seven days days back on market at 36 100 price reductions and we do see what increased contingent and listings expired are so pay attention to this in the last seven days we have 394 properties that have struck a deal with a potential buyer now listings sold this number is going to be current with the previous month because generally speaking it takes around 30 days on industry average to actually purchase a property so in the last seven days 253 of those purchases have just now been recorded and lastly we have listings canceled at 16. So there's gonna be a lot of numbers coming at you, so I deeply apologize, but let's take a look at Tacoma and Puyallup in terms and see if they have any type of outliers when it comes to the marketplace in general. For Tacoma in January, we're looking at 153 total sales, an average day on market to sell those homes at 45, with the average median sell price sitting at 498,000. In February, we have a total sales of 190, and that's increasing. Day on market, 46 days, increased by one day, with the average median sale price dropping $26,000 from January to February for Tacoma. Now for Puyallup, we have the total sales at 190, with the average day on market at 49, with the average median sale price for January at 549,000. Now for February, pay attention. For February, Puyallup statistics dropped. In total sales, the total sales dropped to 151 sales, an average day on market dropping one day for 48 days on market, and the average median sale price, which is the big outlier here in my personal opinion, the average median sale price in Puyallup dropped $37,000 from January to February. So that's a big eye-opening thing. The reason why I say it's a big deal is because we have to take a look at the marketplace feeling and landscape from a seller and buyer point of view. In terms of the buyer, we were facing high interest rates in terms of what it was. In January, we're nearly 8% for some loan programs. And if you were doing an investment loan, I almost guarantee you at the height, you were touching 8% interest rate. Now, in terms of February, we had interest rates actually drop close to the 5% range. And for some like VA and FHA, you could easily get a 5.8% interest rate that you could get in today. And today we're gonna speak on for March. How we're gonna do that, we're going to look at today's mortgage rates to see what you can qualify if you were to purchase in this type of marketplace. Taking a look at today's mortgage rates is gonna favor you tremendously in terms of what it has been basically this entire year. So in terms for a 30 year fixed rate on a conventional loan, you are looking at a 6.26% interest rate. And then going further down, I want you to pay really close attention to this. On a 30 year fixed rate FHA, you are looking at a 5.84%. Uh, I know you do see that one week change of an increase of 0.18%, but overall I know how it sounds, but you're gonna be in that illustrious 5% range. And then as we go further down to the fixed rate for the VA, for my military vets and fellow veterans, uh, you're gonna be looking at a 5.52% interest rate. And that is a very beautiful thing if you're going to be a veteran or military service member looking for a home in today's market. So what is this telling you? It's actually becoming a good time to buy from the buyer's perspective because now the rates are actually becoming a little more friendly in terms of what they were just in January. 
So a lot of loom and gloom coming from social media in terms of what they think you should do with your money. In the end, people that are that are and do tend to win most likely in you know today's world is doing if they can purchase a home and they can do it comfortably and with responsibility, they're gonna win out because no matter what happens, as long as they can afford the home they're paying for, they're gonna be moving in a right and positive manner. So now you may ask, well, what about me if I'm trying to sell my home? Well, if you're trying to sell your home within this market, it is a good time for you as well because now you're getting to the opportunity where you're going to have multiple offers within your property. From being a real estate agent that operates, that operates primarily within the Pierce County marketplace, there is a lot of situations in which the sellers are getting multiple offers again. Now, that's not to say that you're going to be getting the offers that are going to be above asking all the time, but of course that comes in time and place when you decide to price your home correctly and you actually took the time to actually stage your home. And if you're trying to sell your home, regardless if you're in Pierce or King County or the entirety of Washington State, or if you're in freaking Florida, Look at this video right here and I'm gonna tag it on below and that, excuse me, I'm gonna tag it above and then that video is gonna actually show you the proper steps you should take when trying to sell your home within any type of marketplace. If you are finding any of this information at all helpful, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe as it does help grow the channel. But let's go ahead and move forward to the more expensive properties that were sold within Pierce County to take a quick little highlight and some motivation for you moving forward. The first property that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is going to be located in Edgewood. And if you're not familiar where Edgewood is located, it's going to be right above Puyallup. And if you need the top five neighborhoods in Puyallup, in my personal opinion, I'll have that video attached at the end of this one. This property was originally listed at $1.87 million. It was eventually sold for $1.65 million, which is a $220,000 price drop. But this property was in the market for 165 days. Taking a look at it, you're going to have your modern touch and feel, as you can see. Those beautiful garage doors to match your French doors entering into your uh, beautiful property. You spending this kind of much money in, um, in Edgewood? Oh, you're going to get a little something to something. As you move in, you're gonna have a nice modern and decorative interior. You got those steel railings and you know, I don't know if you got kids or not, but my kids play like the accordion on mine. Oh, God, they kill me. Moving forward, you can have your nice stone accent wall. I love the way how that pops off that off-white, white exterior wall. Now you're gonna have that nice fireplace. Moving forward, this is gonna be one of the money shots in my opinion. You're gonna have a lot of natural light entering in with the beautiful exterior that Washington Pacific Northwest has to offer. Beautiful wooden beams exposed, love that. Move forward, you're going to have a nice waterfall kitchen quartz countertop. If you're not sure what the waterfall means, just look at the end cap of that um, island and when it falls down, get it, waterfall. I don't know if you can see it, but you're gonna have a nice herringbone finish to your kitchen on that backsplash. And right here, bam, Mount Rainier, just, Look, this is gonna be a beautiful place to uh, hit your coffee in the morning just to stare out during the summer. Can't beat that. Next up, we have a property within Northeast Tacoma that was sold for $1.625 million with zero days on market. So kudos to the agent and the seller. They must have already had a buyer already lined up and ready. So they knocked out of the park. Didn't even need to go on the market. Now let's take a look at the exterior. You're going to have a nice rock wall finish with a white popping right off that beautiful touch. Now take a look at this one. This is your money shot. You got the beautiful aura that Pacific Northwest even has to offer you in Tacoma. So they get all this and more. Now let's head to the interior of this property you're gonna have a nice open concept with a ton of kitchen storage space those nice white kitchen countertops with your nice wine bar you can kind of make that to the side and then heading into the kitchen you got your nice kitchen excuse me you have your chef's fridge right there with a nice i would say almost 10 11 foot island i could be wrong but i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with like 10 and a half 10 and a half foot island with a nice quartz countertop you're going to also have your quartz uh, your quartz backsplash going to be, you know, eclipsing from the counter to that. Now let's continue to move forward. Now here is another shot for you. You're going to have a nice open concept where you have a lot of nice natural light coming in within and you have the nice backlighting space to go ahead and enjoy the aura of the fresh breeze of the water. If you have any questions in regards to real estate or anything within our area, please don't hesitate. All my contact information will be down below and I try my best to actually get back to those who text, call, email, but you know, as always, you take care.